Monday, March day. Gonna do a couple of watches real quick. Just talk about the atomic time, but I just wanna take a slow walk to the lake. We had a lot of rain last night. So the waterfall over here is working pretty strong. It's pretty, it's got more pressure to it. Look at that. Beautiful. It's got a lot more pressure. Nice. I like when it has a little pressure to it. Sometimes the water's not that strong coming down. Now it is. We had a lot of rain last night. Anyway, I just wanted to show that. We got a couple of watches. Three watches. My only three atomic time watches I'm going to talk about. Let me get over in the office so I can set them up. Cold day. If it was a little more sunny, a little more sunny would be nice. But it's, not bad. it's windy, it makes it feel colder. Nobody out here fishing. Don't mind me, I'm just filming the lake here. So I get inside, I'll show you the watches real quick. I'm gonna head out in a little while. So, when I head out, I'll uh, see if I can film something. But I just wanted to talk quick about these atomic watches. Atomic watch, uh, I got three of them. I gotta take the other one I'm wearing today. I call it my lucky watch. It's not going to be a long video or anything. I'm just going to go through it real quick. Um, I call this my lucky watch. My, my friend has this one too. This is the uh, 200 uh, WV200A. WV200A. And I got another one. I got a G-Shock with the Atomic. Don't mind me. My hands are still warming up. Um, I got this this model. Very cool model. This is a more reasonable one. These both are more reasonable ones. They're multi-band, I think, five or, or, or whatever. I'm not sure. They're not multi-band six, though. These you could pick up more reasonable on Amazon. Sometimes you get lucky with this model in uh, Walmart. They have it with the resin band, which I'm looking to get because that's how much I like this watch. It's a very cool watch. I'll go through it real quick. Let me keep the camera on that. G-Shock. That G-Shock's Atomic Time and Tough Solar. This, these are more reasonable ones. This is a WV58A. WV58A. They, they all three watches have Atomic Time. And I just, I'm, I'm not one for all stats and measurements and this and that. But I know these watches are, are accurate beyond accurate they're, they're beyond accurate because they sink at night i put them by a window and they sink to the atomic clock and how you could tell on the bottom right usually some of them are different buttons but the bottom right you press the screen once and it says it takes you to the get that got it right there you can see the date three four this one three three i mean 1205 actually they both they sometimes they collaborate all together. Actually, I had this one in another room and this one in another room, but it don't matter. When the signal is right for them to get the signal, they they grab it. So, got on that. 12.05, 12.05. Let's see what this one did. 12.05. And these, were, these two are in the same room. This one I have in a separate room lately, but it doesn't matter. When the signal's strong for them, They'll grab it almost every night. They'll grab that atomic uh, signal and uh, get it. And it'll it'll be perfect time. You can rest assured. And also it's set for daylight saving time. So daylight saving time, uh, when you put it by the window that night, it automatically changed daylight saving time. So I just wanted to show them real quick. 
I'll show you the light on them. They're, these two, like I said, these two here, these two, sorry, these two here are very reasonable. You can get them for very reasonable. And they, these are great watches. They, they pack a lot of punch, too. They got time, a stopwatch, world time. This has world time. This this particular one is going in G-Shock territory. It's 200 meters waterproof. This is 50 meters. This thing you could go diving with, actually. That's how strong uh, the water resistant is with this one. Great features on it. Both of them. I think this one's a world timer, too. This one has world time stopwatch timer, world time stopwatch timer, all that good stuff. Daylight saving time, automatic. You could set it to... So you put it at the window at night, you just put it on your windowsill at night like that, bang. Nine out of ten times. Very rare it won't catch a signal at night. Very rare. I'll show you the light on it. The lights are very nice on this. A beautiful blue light. This one also. And you can get it in resin band or stainless steel. There's a couple of versions of this. This is a beautiful light. I had this watch. This is one of the first watches I started grow in my Casio collection, and I love it. I still wear it to today. Actually, I'm going to wear it today. I call it my lucky watch. But I'm looking for this same watch in uh, the resin band. That's how much I like it. When I buy watches and then I buy the same type of watch again, I really like that watch. I really would recommend this watch. I think anyone that gets it would love this. It's a good beta watch. It's a no-nonsense watch. You have a lot of functions on it, and you can't beat the time on it is impeccable. If you're really like a bug to keep perfect time or just not worry about when daylight saving time comes, there's a way of setting it automatically so you don't have to worry about that like a phone. And I mentioned the phone for two reasons. The phone has like – I can't show you because I'm filming on my phone, but the phone has like an atomic clock. When the daylight saving time comes, you get up in the morning, your phone changes automatically, like these watches. But I noticed with these watches, they're so accurate. You see that when you say, when you go to that get screen, it tells you exact day and date and time that it got that signal. That actually, if I take the phone with, if I take my phone, like I'm looking at my phone, like this magnifying glass, and I'm looking at the watch, and I'm waiting for it to change a minute faster. This seems a, a hair of a second faster than the phone. So I'm thinking, is the phone a slight second slower? It's not much off. It's kind of it kind of changes the same time as the phone, but it's a hair second I think faster from what I've seen, which. I actually would say that this is more accurate than a cell phone. That's how accurate it is. It's accurate. It's just spot on accurate. Once it, especially once it hit the wave scepter at night, the uh, the uh, atomic clock, it's spot on time. Anyway, that's about it. I have three of them only. One day I hope hope to find this one with the resin band. Like my friend of mine has it. Night Raven, he has it with the resin band. I really like this model. Actually, I have this model. I reviewed it already in a non-atomic watch. They have this model. Uh, let me put these here. These, uh, this model here is pretty popular. It's uh, the WV200A. There's a couple of versions of this watch with the atomic time and without the atomic time. But they're great watches. The lights on them are great. Very, very nice blue light. You can see that. Even on the G-Shock, of course. This has a great light, this uh, 69 WD 6900. This has multiband 6 and Tough Solar. And just one other thing in there I just wanted to say. This is actually a reasonable G-Shock too, like 80 bucks. Sometimes you can find this for less. Very good G-Shock to have. I don't have a lot of G-Shocks. I was telling my friend the other day, I have mostly regular Casio watches that 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 I find that are durable, and I like them, and, and some of them have a lot of functions just as much as a G-Shock. But I do like G-Shocks, and I own, I own three of them. There's a couple out there that I would consider owning one day, but 
I, I mostly go for like nice beater, regular Casio watches that pack a lot of punch. But these, these are great um, entry to the uh, Wave Scepter world, Atomic Time. If you want a no nonsense watch that has a nice light, uh, enough functions, nothing you need, nothing you don't. Everything you need, nothing you don't, I'm sorry. And, uh, you know, nice light on them. And uh, you never have to set it for daylight saving time. You could put, you set it in auto and you're done. There's a menu you'll scroll through and you'll see auto and you're done. And then, I don't know if you can see that, the DST, it'll switch over there when it's time for daylight saving time. And then it'll stay on there for a little while and then it will disappear and then it will switch Later on, when it becomes fall again, it'll switch to that side, stay on there for a little while and switch. But they do it automatic. They do it automatic, and they're great watches. They're great entry-level watches. This is floating around like a G-Shock territory. It's very strong and robust. So is this one, for that matter. These, these, these watches are great watches. Anyone that wants an atomic time and set it and forget it. Just set it, forget it, and don't worry about it, and the watch keeps perfect time. I would say anyone could uh, question me on it. I think they're more accurate than a cell phone. And one other thing real quick, because I don't want to burn this video out. If you press the bottom where you get the go to the got screen, get, and it tells you the time it got, um, you, could, you, you, you press that, hold it, for a few seconds, and it will uh, do a, you're forcing it now to, to update. Now, if you don't have any cell phones around or computers and you're at a window and there's not a lot of electronics around, you could manually set this, see it's going L1. They all have different things. This has like a little radar. This has This has the circle that it will tell you. But it's on L1, so you see it's a low signal. But when it when it would get to L3, it's trying to receive the atomic clock. But you're not going to do it around cell phones, really. And you're not going to do it around computers. It has to be, you know, not around any electronics, really, and put by a window. But every night I put this by a window. See, it said error because it didn't have enough signal. But if... If it had enough signal, if it went up to three, it would it would update right now because I did it already by a window with nothing around, and they updated. I, I manually updated them. But anyway, they're good watches, atomic time watches. This is 50 meters waterproof. Of course, the G-Shock is 200. I don't think there's any G-Shocks with less than 200. There's 200 meters on this, 200 meters on that other one. But they're great watches, and I think they're more accurate than any watch or any even cell phone, for that matter. Anyone could question me, but everyone have a great day. Hopefully, I'm heading out and do some more videos. Everyone just have a great day. Peace out.